Green and social finance can help Asia build back better as it recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic. It does so by funding green investments such as clean energy and social investments in health and education. It is especially important now because government revenues have collapsed during the pandemic. Countries are finding it harder to pay for needed green and social investments. Private capital is necessary to close the funding gap. And this is really the perfect time to make these green and social investments. This COVID-19 pandemic has disproportionately affected the poor and the vulnerable. And it also shows that we must plan for high impact risks, the biggest of which is climate change. Green and social finance is expanding very rapidly in emerging markets led by developing Asia. One important driving force is changing investor preferences. More investors now want their investments to perform well, but also be a force for good. Currently, $30 trillion, or one third of all investment managed globally, are guided by environment, social, and governance, or ESG objectives. For companies, tapping green and social finance helps protect them against climate change and other risks. Our report also shows that companies that use green finance are trusted more. They attract patient investors who stick with them through downturns like the current pandemic. Government can use a range of policies to shape social and green finance markets and participate in them. Typical options include legislation and regulation, as well as various fiscal instruments. But perhaps the most important thing needed for green and social finance to thrive is common standards for disclosure and impact measurement. Investors need to know their investments are having a positive impact and that claims of environmental and social benefits are not just market employees.